Hey guys, Josh Finley with the Finley Mortgage Team, and we are at the Multifamily Conference 2023, and at some of the best multifamily mortgage brokerages in the country. We have an exhibit here, so you're gonna see us all weekend, uh, connecting, socializing, networking. Um, you are gonna see a handful of our agents out here this weekend, so please feel free to reach out, connect with us. We are very excited to be here to talk everything there is to know about multifamily investing, financing, MLI, CMHC, and everything in between. Looking forward to seeing you. Today, Kenny. We are at the Multifamily Conference 2023 in downtown Toronto. If you guys are coming down, come down. We have a booth set up here. We have daily prizes and we have a grand prize. And I want you to win that grand prize. You'll love it. But we're here to show people what we know, learn from them, grow with them. We're here all day. Booth number 111. Come see us. Hey everyone, my name is Sriram. I'm one of the new agents here at the Finlay Mortgage Team. We're at the Multifamily Conference. Let's take a look around the booth. So first here we have our wonderful photo wall where guests or uh, clients could come by, take pictures, chat with the team, and uh, really enjoy, you know, take some good photos for social media. Uh, over here we have some donuts, drinks, uh, and then we also have a, a contest that's going on where we're giving away a gift card, uh, again here for, for our our lovely visitors. All right, so from here, we're gonna hop out into the conference and find someone and, and interview them. <laughs> All right, let's go, yeah. All right, so we found someone here. We're here with Matthew. Um, so I'm gonna ask you here, what is the one reason you're here this weekend at the Multifamily Conference? I wanna learn from the best uh, people that raised capital um, throughout the, the last years and uh, how they did it, uh, how they brand themselves, uh, what are their mindsets, and uh, what they plan the market is gonna be in a couple of years. So yeah, I wanna learn from the best. Definitely, you're definitely in the right place. Thank you. I think so. Yeah. I'm here with uh, another investor here in the crowd. He's going to introduce himself, and then uh, I'd love to hear a little bit more about you know how long you've been in the industry uh, and what sort of investments that you focus on. Absolutely. My name is Yemi. I'm the founder of Cozy Technologies. Actually, we are a platform for like property management. Uh, we've uh, developed a property management that helps real estate investors to be able to manage their properties efficiently and to optimize their operations. Uh, I've been in the industry for quite a bit for. More more than 10 years and uh, I myself I'm an investor in multi-family property and uh, I've, uh, I've been able to like you know leverage the network I have, I have around me in terms of family to be able to invest in uh, real estate and right now I think this is a bigger community that will help most people that are looking to get into real estate investment definitely man that's very great great to great to meet you um, so next I wanted to ask you what's the one reason you're here this weekend at the multi-family conference I think uh, one reason I'm here is to be part of the ecosystem for like like, you know real estate investment in Canada to meet uh, people from like you know different industries that are part of the real estate ecosystem and to find opportunities for us to be able to work together there's a lot of like things that can be done a little bit um, different regarding and also there's opportunities in the system uh, in the in the space as well too so we're looking for like you know innovations in terms of like you know finance in terms of like property management in terms of like development and all of more definitely man that's great glad to glad to meet you thank you thank you yeah. Hey everybody, Rob Chopper here with the Finlay Mortgage Team and today we have a really special guest, Michael Watch. Michael Watch is one of my clients, a Niagara Region investor himself in the multifamily space and today we're going to introduce Mike and talk a little bit about his project uh, that we just completed going to CMHC MLI Select. So Michael, you're investing in the Niagara Region. How long have you been investing for? Uh, it's been a good uh, five, six years. Yeah, we, we started with a couple of smaller duplexes, triplexes and now this has been the largest purchase. 
least the, the, the five plex, potentially a six plex in the future that we've uh, done about a year and a half ago. Amazing. So this particular project is a five plex in Port Colborne, and as I mentioned, we're transitioning to CMHC. When you acquired this project, how did you acquire it? Like, what was the acquisition financing on this deal? So it was actually creative financing, vendor take back. It was a Kijiji ad, so a uh, private seller, a gentleman just wanting to get out of the game. He had one problem tenant in the property. Um, really well up upkept building, but definitely a lot of upside in terms of rents and updates. So uh, yeah, it was actually a vendor take back that we got for about 70% of the purchase price. We came up with the rest of the money um, through our own funds, and that's what it took to get the deal done at that time. Awesome. So when you were looking at stabilizing the building, you had a clear exit strategy based on the, the you know the nice financing that's available to us, inclusive of CMHC and something for the record started in March of 2022, the MLI specifically. So MLI is on three pillars as we know, right? Accessibility, affordability, and energy efficiency. What pillar did you use for your project specifically? I was the last one, probably the most common one that investors are using, energy efficiency. And actually when we bought it, we weren't um, aware the program didn't exist. So we, we were just um, trying to turn the building around, bring it up to its highest use, increase the rents, decrease the expenses as much as possible, knowing that we'd get the best potential financing that we could on the back end. CMHC MLI came along, it's kind of been like the cherry on top, right? So um, yeah, that's that's a strategy that we've used so far. Yeah, it's pretty neat because you've had the building since like 2021. And then when you originally the exit strategy going into commercial financing, which was still a great financing option, but now being able to go through energy efficiency and the work that you did with our industry partners, right? With our energy efficiency team, we were able to basically come out with a model of what it looked like. And now going into CMHC MLI, we're gonna get to what? 85% loan to value which is going to be a really nice takeout on a 45-year amortization, which is awesome. Well, I appreciate you working with us, Michael. So for everybody that's watching, what was your experience like working with me at the Finley Mortgage Team and with the brokerage specifically? I'm biased, uh, but it's it's honestly been an amazing experience. You have guided me through all of the uh, requirements in terms of documentation, giving me an idea of what to expect, because it isn't a simple process, right? It's not buying a duplex. You are... There's a lot of moving pieces between the building, me as a borrower, and the actual financing requirements for CMHC MLI. So it's been as smooth of a process as I, I could expect on a property and a deal of this size. So really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Michael. I really appreciate you. Hope everybody enjoyed today's video. This is just some of the stuff that we do here at the Finley Mortgage Team when it comes to commercial financing, multifamily financing with CMHC Direct Correspondence. Until next time, thank you very much. Alright, we have another one here at the Multifamily Conference. I'm here with... PV Rajan. Alright, so please introduce yourself, tell us what you do, and uh, yeah, tell us a little bit more about what you focus on. Yeah, sounds good, man. So PV Rajan, one of the members of Foundation Capital Private Real Estate Trust. We buy large multifamily apartment buildings and implement the Burr strategy. Right on, right on. So what is the one reason you're here at the Multifamily Conference this weekend? So the main reason we're here is to raise capital for our fund and find more investors that we can generate good returns for. Perfect. And then now we're going to end off with a fun question here. Would you rather buy 10 duplexes or one 20 unit building? One 20 unit building. We only buy large multifamily. So that's our business model. That's what we do. That makes sense. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. What's going on everybody? It's Kenny from Finley Mortgage Team and I'm here with my buddy, investor, client, Mr. Deji Oruntin. How are you Deji? I'm very well man. Thank you for having me. No, thank you for coming here. Uh, how's the multifamily experience been here? It's been great man. You know, I love coming to these types of conferences where I'm able to meet like-minded investors. And yes, I've, I've networked a lot today so it's very, very interesting to be here. Has it been tiring? My legs are paining me man. Like always standing. <laughs> I've been standing since morning. It's tough man.
No, it's it's been an amazing, amazing day. I, I met with so many experienced investors, so many new investors. It's been a great, great learning experience, and I'm Thanks, glad Mike. to see you. And it's funny, Deji, we've been working together for almost two years, and this is the first time, first time I've seen we're person. actually meeting in person. And you're much taller than I actually thought. You know, it's always interesting when you've spoken with someone consistently for years, and then you've never really seen the person like face to face. And then I saw you today, and I think it took like two seconds to even register that well, I haven't seen this face in person before. <laughs> so. Well, it's been fun, you know. It's, it's always good to meet you, man. Uh, Deji, what's going on in your world? You've been a successful wholesaler, you're an investor, you're getting into bigger apartment buildings now. Yeah, what's, man, what's, and, what's going on with you? You've been a very interesting part of that journey, right? Um, we've been doing wholesaling for a little over a year, close to two years now. And um, like the highlight of a lot of those wholesale deals has been you helping me out, you know, whenever some of these deals are about to fall through. Um, I usually boast that whenever I'm wholesaling a deal, and the deal is about to fall through. I could always call Kenny for the back of financing. You always call me for the difficult so like, part. Whenever someone is saying, hey man, I can't close, I'm like, don't worry, I'll give you Kenny's number. Right. So it, that's been interesting. Like um, some of the bigger deals that we've done, you, like you've come through to help with that. And then now we're looking to like buy apartment buildings. So as you know, like we are working on a seven unit now, um, doing a conversion to 13 units. So that's also interesting. So yeah. No, I appreciate you thinking of me every time and, and I can be a small part of your of your big success. You know, I, d I don't know if I like working with you or not because I, I was telling you earlier but whenever I see your messages on one end it's good that you help prevent me from losing money but I'm like I hate seeing your messages man <laughs> hey man we, we, we love to be the devil's advocate sometimes we you can anticipate don't... certain problems that you may not and you know that's our job to, to keep you informed right well it's actually refreshing because like the truth is if you are working with other people they have the incentive to like tell you like what you want to hear right and it's annoying when you say this is the reality of things you, you don't want to hear it but it's like it's the truth right and with financing you don't want to lose money so it's like good and bad where I'm like damn why did this like why is this guy always busting my bubble you know like I, I see a deal I'm like wow this is a fantastic deal and then I come to you and like yeah man but did you think about this I'm like shit you know um, but all in all like I'm grateful for you know like all the conversations and like I'm sure there's a lot of money that I would have lost you know if I had to do things myself so you know thanks for that oh, I appreciate I appreciate being part of this journey and I you know I appreciate you as, as a friend I learned so much from you all these funky deals you bring in right so there's always things that I don't know and I get to learn about it because you know you bring me these deals and I get a call of people um, but I appreciate this partnership man thank you thank you so much thank you and it's always good luck and all success thank you and we will grow together yeah all right all right All right, we have another one here at the multifamily conference. Uh, I'm here with Ryan Day from Calvert Hall Mortgage and Rob Maver. Perfect. So please introduce yourselves a bit more. Uh, tell us uh, what Calvert's about and, and what, what you guys are up to. Yeah, for sure. So Calvert's a short-term lender, focused on uh, primarily people who flip properties or implement the birth strategy. But we also focus on bridge financing, interim purchases in major urban city centers in Alberta and Ontario. Anything to add there? Short-term lending opportunities, real estate investors. Ryan said it. Okay. Perfect. So what is the one reason you're here at the conference this weekend? I want to connect with real estate investors. I want to meet the people that we've done business with. And I want to I want to get a better sense for what it's like to be a real estate investor. We have a very different relationship with deals being on our side of the desk. I want to understand more about what they're feeling, what they're seeing, what motivates them, what excites them, and how we can provide better service. I think Rob literally touched on everything. Meet with current clients and introduce ourselves to new clients. Perfect. So we're going to end off here with a fun question. Love to hear from both of you guys. Um, so would you rather buy 10 duplexes or one 20 unit building? I would rather buy 10 duplexes because you could finance them with Calvert. <laughs> we would not be able to do a single 20 unit place because we just are awesome at duplex stuff. So 10 duplexes. Love that. <laughs> Uh, personally, I'd probably do one multifamily if it was my investment. Uh, just easier to manage having one asset, I think. Definitely. Great. Thanks for thanks for this, guys. Yep. Hey, everybody. It's Nicholas from the Finlay Mortgage Team at The Mortgage Architect on Instagram and every other social platform. We're at the multi
Multi Family Conference. We're here with Sean Quigg. Hey. And we just wanted to do a quick interview on what he has going on right here, Upfront Capital. And I'm going to let Sean tell you exactly what they do. Thanks, Nick. Upfront Capital lends the deposit on a conditional agreement of purchase and sale. Oh, right. Yeah, so instead of you putting your money into a trust account where it sits for 30, 60, 90 days and doesn't earn anything, uh, we'll put our money up and you can use your money on the due diligence you've got to do to make sure you've got a deal. And how did you guys come up with this idea and why do you think it benefits most people? And their next deal, let's say. Well, I mean, we saw a need. Uh, this is the last sort of unleveraged part of, of the deal. And you know, what, what I was seeing was people that were tying up all their capital during the due diligence phase, and then it didn't have any capital to actually do their due diligence. So it was really just identifying a need and trying to solve it. Uh, it's going to benefit people who are trying to do deals, who have limited capital, who you know have investors that don't want to come in till it's actually a deal, who want to continue moving forward, continue building wealth. This is just a step to help you get a deal under contract and get you through to the end of your due diligence so you can firm up, pay us back, and off you go. Amazing. So obviously we're at the multifamily conference, so is there a max amount of deposit that you guys can lend? Have you figured that out or ran into that yet? Yeah, well as of today's date, today, the day of filming, uh, the maximum loan is a million dollars. One million dollars. You heard it here first. So, make better offers, do more deals, upfront capital. That's us. That's them. Well, the best way to find us is either our website, upfrontcapital.ca, or you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, at Upfront Capital. Everybody, it's Nicholas from the Finlay Mortgage team at The Mortgage Architect on all socials. I've got Mitt here from Foundation Capital and we just wanted to do a quick uh, introduction and what they're trying to be doing in the Foundation Capital Mutual Fund Trust and uh, what your objective here at the multifamily conferences and things like that. So feel free to go. Awesome. Thanks, Nicholas. Uh, as Nicholas mentioned, my name is Mitt. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders and trustees at Foundation Capital Private Real Estate Trust. We're here today at the multifamily conference just educating the public and other investors about what we do. Uh, we buy and implement the burst strategy on apartment buildings in southwestern Ontario that are typically three-story walk-ups, anywhere between 10 to 50 units. We're here today kind of raising some capital uh, in order to allow investors to be able to enjoy the returns of multifamily, both from a cash flow and refinance perspective without having to do any of the work themselves. So what would you say at a conference like this where they're pushing everybody to be the general partner and do all the work, like what what is the number one advantage of just taking a back seat and allowing you guys to do what you do? Like, What would you say is the number one competitive advantage and why should they do it? 100%. In comparison to others, what we do is we do all the active management ourselves. So we actually offer a 15% targeted return. 7% uh, of that is cash flow with 8% plus as equity appreciation. And as part of that, we actually have it that after a 7% return for the investor, we uh, have a split 80-20 in favor of the investor. So if we make a 17% return, the investor gets 15 and we get two. So it's in our or in the investor's best interest that we want to get a higher return because that's the only way that we get the reward, but at the same time the investor's rewarded as well. Amazing. So the buildings that you talk about that you guys look for, how did you come about finding those as the asset class you wanted to focus on or more so the building type that you wanted to focus on? Yeah, that's a really great question, right? So, you know, I come from an asset management background, worked at Dream Unlimited previously, uh, did a lot of asset management, so I kind of understand the different type of players that exist in the space from large publicly traded companies to other private equity players as well and so this size of building of anywhere between 10 to 50 units uh, is just large enough that it's too out of reach for the average investor to be able to jump in and even for a couple of JVs it's just a little too hard to do uh, but too small for a bigger guy to be willing to jump into so it requires you know a niche agile team who's able to now navigate being able to get turnovers to justify the costs, but yet be able to get returns for themselves. And you're not worried about a REIT coming in and offering way too high because they want a 4% return. You guys get to play with that kind of middle ground, less competition and just allows you to get better buildings around better areas. That's yeah, yeah, exactly. Basically, most public REITs will put 50% down when buying a property, which if you're coming to the multifamily,
Miami conference, if you had 50% down, you're not coming here. You're probably, you know, putting in a public company, they read yourself and just saying, hey, I'm happy with the returns, or you're going to just buy the property yourself and call it a day. If you're coming here, what you're trying to do is get outsized returns, returns higher than what's available in publicly traded markets for REITs or from just simple bank investments. And if you're looking to do that, and without any of the work, that's what Foundation Capital Private Real Estate Trust offers. Okay, one last question. What was the biggest challenge in setting up and transferring to going into like the foundation capital, doing it as a mutual fund trust versus before? Like what challenges come up when you try to do a mutual fund trust and why like did you guys chase mutual fund trust as a structure? Yeah, for sure, it's a really good question. So anybody who's kind of been following us and kind of knows us knows that I, myself and Pierre Sant both come from an accounting practice background. You know, we both work for publicly traded companies and then we transitioned into doing accounting for other real estate investors while still growing our real estate portfolio. So, you know, we understand all the challenges that individual small investors have. And unfortunately, the way that the market is in regards to like financing, obtaining capital and being able to fund your deals, as a small investor, an individual investor, even as you grow in size, you get limited due to limitations due to financing, due to what the banks are able to provide or other capital solutions that are available. And then you have net worth limitations and things like that. Just things that some of the lenders don't like. Obviously, with yourself, you see that all the time with other people that are available. With a mutual fund trust uh, or with a fund, what it allows us to do is obtain other better financing options that allow us to actually be able to execute our strategies, have more time to be able to do so, versus taking some more risky financing that's available and not executing and failing. And so the challenge of this pathway though is that there is a lot of regulatory compliance, it costs quite a bit to set up, and that once you set it up, it's not just about getting it set up. You've got to actually get results and show results to investors to make sure they continue to stick around with you. And you guys have results. You guys have a big portfolio, a great healthy portfolio, and it's just recommended to deal with foundation capital if you want to make investing easy. Amazing. Mitt, thanks for coming. Thanks, Nicholas. If people wanted to get a hold of Foundation Capital or one of you guys, where can they uh, reach out to? Yeah, amazing. You can easily contact us at on Instagram, foundation.capital, or visit our website, www.foundationcapital.ca. Amazing. Awesome. Thanks for the awesome. interview. Thanks, Look Nicholas. forward to it. All right, guys, now that wraps up day one of Multifamily 2023. We had an absolute blast with everybody. Thank you for coming to our booth. For the ones who supported us today, we, we feel ultra blessed to, uh, to have had those conversations with you, to connect it with you. We are holding another event for the multifamily financing, specifically on underwriting multifamily real estate investments in July. More information will be disclosed later on. Again, thanks so much. We're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.